Huh? <laughs> all right, 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 all right. Welcome, welcome to Meals in Minutes with the O's and the double O. <laughs> all right, so today we're making Burundian matoke, and guys, listen, Burundi, which is where my lovely wife is from, have the best food you can ever ever eat in your life. I Say that again. Not. And I went there when I was actually vegan. So we are gonna make a uh, Burundian uh, delicacy today, which is matoke, Burundian style. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now, yes. there are multiple ways of making this. This is the easily one of the easiest ways. So you boil your matoke with the leaves until it's ready with to be magandas. eaten. With the magandas. With the magandas, until <laughs> it's ready to be eaten. And then once you're done, you switch it off. How long does it take to boil? Like To be honest, it all depends matoke to matoke, depending on where it's being, yeah. you know, grown. Yeah. You pour the, wa the hot water, put a little bit of cold water, and then we start peeling. And you can always just keep the matoke with the, as they are, just on the side if you want to cook it the next day, depending on how you want to cook them. So hot water out, cold water in. Yes. All right. So now you just remove. And to be honest, this is also another hack so that you don't have the black, when it's, when it's the black stains that you get when you're peeling mm -hmm. bananas and matokes. It's really never that cute. And it's also easier to peel when it's like soft. this, yes. Yeah. So this is what you want once you've peeled your matokes. Now let me introduce to you the things that we're going to use. This is spinach, already cut, green peas, already boiled. Have your tomatoes, your onions, tomato paste, your salt and pepper for seasoning, your garlic, and your peanut butter. <laughs> Remember what we say here, yeah. garlic solves all problems. All right, so I'm then. going to pulse the onions in this uh, chopper. Just Literally. enough. Finely chopped. Fantastic. Look at that. Put it in the blender and you have your tomatoes pulsed and ready. A generous amount of garlic. Ooh, smelling good. All right, it's done. There are your tomatoes. Ooh, voila. It smells good. So my peas are at peace. Oh my god, really? I'm gonna put my spinach. Nothing goes to waste. I'm gonna cover it up just a little. No, no fancy spice when fancy spices. Like this black pepper salt. Yeah. Um, I think that's one of the things that makes Burundian food quite tasty. Really, we don't use a lot of spices in our foods. Yeah. In fact, it's quite basic when it comes to spices. People don't really use spices. But now, funny, funny enough, you are the one who introduced me to spicy food, my love. I spiced up your life, darling. Okay, you I spiced up your life, darling. All right. Spinach. <laughs> really? No, that's how my dad would say spinach. <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry. He said it. I didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna put my tomatoes. All right. Let's season a little bit with our black pepper. Okay. We are moving along very, so very, very good. Wow. Oops. Burundians have tomato paste in everything, right, baby? <laughs> well. Everything. Well, not everything, but quite, <laughs> because we say. It has to have like sauce and it has to be, you know, red nicely. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna put our bananas in. So you can use this type of peanut butter. You can use the ground peanut butter. So it's all up to you. Yes. Do you mix it with water to make a paste? Yes, you, just you mix it with water to make a paste. And then you put it in. Oh yeah. We cover it up a little bit for a few minutes to allow it to get ready. So this is parsley? <laughs> this parsley <laughs> is from our shamba. Yes, our yes. little shamba. And that brings me to the point that you can grow anything. Even if you're in an apartment, anywhere you're staying, you can yeah. really grow anything that you can in your kitchen, even in your balcony, whatever you can. Just try and grow these small things. I think it, it, it gives you so much pride when you know what's at the what's table, on, the plate, yeah. on your plate. You've yeah. also grown it yourself. Yeah. All right. Our matokes are quite ready. 
because you really don't need to wait for the parsley to cook completely because it's always a it's like a garnish at the same time anyway so you know we had to add avocado right mm -hmm. what is life without avocado mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> how do i get to be kicked out i love how i can taste the parsley mm. it brings so much flavor Thank mm -hmm. you.